Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today we're talking about performance. No, a chrome delete is not the way to make your car go faster. But with these three things that I'm gonna mention now are my top three favorite performance mods for the Tesla Model 3. Let's start, baby. You're making it, making it brighter, right through the gray. Hey you guys, my name is Taylor, this is EV Electric. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, well welcome. And click that subscribe button and thumbs up. Join 7,100 other of you. Oh, it's a great time we're having here. It's like a stock, you guys. It's, it's slowly going up. Are you gonna be here before it explodes? Right? We're good investors here at EV Electric. That's what we wanna see, so join on in. Sorry. So when I mention these three things, I'm actually gonna mention a total of six. And what I'm gonna do for you guys is mention the best one where you know money doesn't matter. It's probably gonna be out of most of your price ranges. I'm also gonna mention something lesser, uh, more realistic to a, like a legit build and a legit budget that is gonna be great. So you're gonna get two sides of both worlds of similar parts. Mod number one is gonna be better tires. And this is very important because the first thing you want for such a high torque car and a low center of gravity is you need the best grip possible. Now, of course, there's gonna be the unrealistic answer, which of course I'd recommend you get the best of the best, the you know $2,500 Toyos that are like you know this wide and, and they're expensive and you can only run like 2,000 miles out of them and you need light wheels along with them and all this kind of stuff. So that would be number one. Now the lesser, more realistic version, really there is no limit to this. So. What I used to do is I used to have my stock 19 inch wheels, not, not this car, stock 19 inch wheels and I started with the Pilot Sport A3S Plus. Those were great. And then I got my 20 inch wheels and I upgraded the tires as well to the performance tires, but just a little bit wider. And that offers the best for me because I think the wider tires and the 4S have great grip, great traction, perfect for someone like me who goes through a lot of tires, they last forever. Um, but keep in mind that there, there's no limit. So you can keep your same wheels, you can just go you know, different tires and different sizes, different price. Find the one that's best for your budget, I should say. Number two is definitely an important one. This is by far my favorite. If I could get this, uh, I, I, really, I really wish I could. And this is coilovers. This is probably the top, I don't know, I think this is probably one of the top ones for sure on, on the Model 3. And coilovers, what you can do with them, it's, it's your suspension, by the way, and what they offer is the ability to lower your car or lift it, and you can also change the dampening on it. So that's the stiffness. So when you hit like a bump or something, it would hit really hard or really soft. And why is this so important? Well, it's awesome because if you're on the road, you can lift your car up and make the dampening a little bit softer, a little bit more realistic. So you have a nice smooth ride or you can drop it really low like on track day or something and tighten up the dampening a lot so it's really low and doesn't roll there's no you know the car doesn't roll around when you're on the track it's amazing there it's definitely my favorite and you can really like meet that fine point of height and dampening where your car just rides perfectly smooth but offers the most insane performance they're awesome what i have on my dual motor are springs. I have probably the lowest you can do before you have to get coils because dampening and all this kind of stuff comes into play, but springs are a great option. They're literally a quarter of the price. So that's why I have them and they do the job. And the main job that I mean, other than dampening and height, is to get that battery and that center of gravity as low as possible. Because the, the car offers great center of gravity down here with the battery. Now, you just want to get it lower and you really just want to get it stiffer too, suspension wise. But if you can get it lower with a little bit of stiffness like springs, it offers a great medium. Number three, coming up on the final one here, this is brakes. The brakes are one of the most important things on this car because they're lacking, honestly. Even in the performance ones, they're really lacking. Uh, typically on track days, you'll see a lot of guys get high brake temp warnings or you have to hit the brakes earlier to make up for the squishiness of them or something like that when they get hot. Uh, you lose the ability to, to stop so late and then accelerate so early because you have to concentrate on braking early because the brakes are lacking a little bit. Uh, let me get on with it. Uh, so what you can do is literally redo the whole front and rear braking system. 
It's very expensive. Just the fronts alone for what I'm talking about is about $8,000. It's pretty unrealistic, but it literally is the best thing for the braking system. And what I mean by that is you can get carbon ceramics. So those really expensive rotors that you see on like, you know, supercars and all that. You can get carbon ceramics. You can get a whole different caliper change out with different pads, different brake lines, different fluids. Really expensive, but really, really good for track and, and you know, crazy winding roads and stuff like that. Uh, overall, obviously that price is pretty unrealistic. So let me give you a, a bit of a more realistic one. And that is, once again, the sky's kind of the limits with this. You can, any change for the better of your braking system is a change for the better, right? So what you can do is you can keep your stock brakes, but you can change the brake line to a steel brake line and you can do high temp brake fluid, which is gonna allow your car to get a little bit hotter in the brakes without throwing a code or without physically having the fluid get so hot, right? Or you can do a minor change that is a little bit more expensive, but you could do like a little bit of a combination. You can get drilled and slotted rotors, so they cool better. You can get different pads that aren't so squishy that offer, you know, better in heat. And you can change out those steel brake lines and fluid and stuff like that. Or you can literally just get pads like what I have. I have just pads on my car, different pads, because that's the first kind of major thing I wanted to do. And it was at my price point. So sky's the limit on this and i would really recommend it i'd really recommend all three of these if you want to boost performance and you know you can touch on the first or second step of each one of these god you guys look there's a coyote there's a coyote we're gonna do an honorable mention everybody this is number four this is sway bars so your car has parallel i guess bars that go across is literally what they are and they help i think it's called cross suspension they allow each side of the car to have a little bit of suspension play. So, you know, something on this side actually impacts the other side as well. And this has to do with dampening as well. So this, when you get sway bars, you get better sway bars. When you hit like a bump or a pothole, it's actually more stiffer and your car has less roll. It really goes along with the coil as well. There are two you can get, front and rear. Now, obviously front and rear is going to be more expensive, but you can also just get one. And According to research, the back one is the better one to get. So if you wanna just do one, get the back one, it'll offer better performance, better stability. The back needs more help, I guess, is what the research said. So sway bars are another great addition for you there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed that. I wanna update you quickly on the standard range project, which is this car behind me. If you wanna join along on this project, I have a playlist for this. This thing is no longer gonna be stock as of tomorrow. We're taking it to the shop. We've partnered with a shop. I'm gonna film every little thing that we do with this car and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So join along this project if you want. In a couple days, we'll have a video posted about what has been done to the car. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, I'll see you later.